we have another crew review, the Capresso EC Pro. Hi, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and we haven't visited this machine for quite some time. I'm gonna say it's been a few years since I did a crew review on this machine. So we wanted to show it to you again, go over the features, what makes this a good machine. We're gonna give you the pros and cons, so let's just get right into it. Stainless steel clad over plastic casing. I'm pretty sure that there's plastic under there. I'm going out on a limb to say that, but that's my guess on that one. I don't think it's solid, but still it's a nice appearance. It doesn't matter. Ambient uh, heat from the boiler gives you a cup warmer up here. As you can see, it has a little symbol. Back here you have your water tank. I like the handle in the middle here. It makes it easy to navigate. 42 ounces of water. Make sure you use filtered water in your machines. Brita, something on a rear refrigerator, something like that. Uh, this machine has a traditional steam arm, single hole, so no Panarello. It swings like this. It does not go side to side. It only goes up and down. It has two modes, your brew mode and your steam mode right here. This button de dedicates, uh, or not dedicate, it dictates whether the boiler is in steam mode, which is a higher temperature, or if it's in brew mode, so brew, steam. Uh, on and off. Really simple. Comes with a plastic scoop and tamper. Woo -hoo -hoo. And just in case you want to upgrade, and I don't know why you would, 51 millimeters is what you need. And that's going to be a Reg Barber custom made one because that's an odd size. 53, 57, 58, those are the common sizes that you can get a lesser expensive tamper, but unfortunately, no, ain't gonna happen. So, what's uh, it come with? It comes with the porta filter with double spouts, and it comes with the double. Come on, my hands are slippery. Double pressurized basket. As you can see, there's all these holes up here, but only a uh, one, two, three, four holes down here, and this is the two cup. You know, the one thing they did with this is they made this a stainless steel instead of cr uh, chrome-plated brass. This is an upgrade. Stainless steel is a more expensive portafilter. Why? Because the chrome wears off down in here, the brass starts to expose itself, and sometimes you can get a little bit of taste variations in your shot when it goes through the brass. So this is an upgrade. Also, this does not have a spring inside to hold this in. It has these little nubbins. There's one here. And there's one on the other side. And you fit it down into the slot and give it a turn. Now it doesn't fall out when you're knocking it out into the knock box. And the big bonus with this machine is it comes with the single basket, which is in a bottomless portafilter. Catch that action. So this is a traditional basket. You're going to have to dial in your grind, your tamp, and all that. But hey, that, this is a real bonus. You don't get this. In this uh, price point, you're not going to get a bottomless in most machines. Compresso EC Pro comes with it. So let's make a drink. Uh, we've got it up to steam temperature, like I said, which is the higher temperature. We'll, brew, we'll do our uh, steaming of the milk first. We'll get the shot ready. And then there are two ways to cool that boiler down. You can either run water out into a cup or something, which takes cold water, brings it into the boiler, and cools it down. Or you can just wait. It's much better to just do it and get it over with and get it, your drink put together faster because everything's sitting around, it's not as good. So this is a single basket, this is not a double. I didn't sit. I didn't try to see if we could put that double in there, but that would be pressurized. It wouldn't be bottomless. Yeah, so it wouldn't make any difference. It would not help because it's pressurized. It's hard to tamp with a plastic tamper with a scoop on the end. It's just not as, you can't get your hand into it as well. All right, we'll set that aside and let's do the which way? This way. I'm just purging out the liquid. Condensation, just like always. We 
with any traditional steam arm, you're just going to have to get the technique down of the angle and everything else. Uh, some are easier than others, but practice, practice, practice. Everybody's always asking, what's the trick, what's the tip? There isn't any. It's just practice and gallons of milk. If you're having issues and you bought your machine down at one of our stores, come on back in and we'll show you how to do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. None of that. I'm going to shut the steam off because we're close. Noisy little critter. All right, now, like I was mentioning, uh, I'm just going to run water like I'm brewing. Dun, dun, dun. Try to cool that down. I didn't get great foam, but like I said, it's practice, practice, and I haven't used this machine for a few years. That was the first time I've used it, so. All right, that's now. We're going to wait for the green light to come back on again. A little mopping up here. All that water. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, green light's on. We're ready to go. Yeah, I didn't get great foam, but oh, you know what? I'm not perfect. Thank goodness. Nice looking shot. That's a single, so we don't want to go too far with it. It'll water it down. This is going to be more like a... I need a spoon for the foam that's on the top, which I don't have. Hmm. Like I said, I'm not perfect, darn it. Oh, the flavor is really good. Yeah, I quite like that. That's nice. A little foam would have added to it, but hey, next time. Play around. You guys will get it. That's the EC Pro from Compresso. Check it out on our webpage. It's really very affordable. Pros are the uh, bottomless portafilter. Cons, it's a little bit lightweight. I mean, you know, it's not going to be one of those that you don't have to use two hands on, but that's the way it goes with at this price point. This is a very good machine for the money. Check it out on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thumbs up, and we'll catch you later. Okay.